Hello and welcome. You are now looking at the website Vion.com. And Vion.com is formerly the site Go Animate. Vion is a cloud based application for creating animated videos for various purposes. It allows creators to operate in several styles. Creators can operate in whiteboard videos, or they can operate in scene based animation videos with talking characters. It allows for the integration of your own video as well as branding using images, audio, and any other media assets. In fact, some creators also integrate screen share videos into their Beyond.com videos. And finally, it allows creators latitude to create e-learning style videos. In some cases, Beyond.com is used by entire teams to create videos with a consistent corporate presence. So if at one time, you owned a Go Animate account, you will also be grandfathered into Vion.com. This SaaS based company and this product is fully supported by both a form as well as the company's team. So, in this course, we will look at the interface as well as the basics of creating a video using Vion. Welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at the pricing for Vion formerly known as Go Animate. And to do that, we're going to come to the front page of Beyond. We're then going to go to the pricing area. Now, Beyond's plans does have a free trial where you can work through everything that you feel you need before you select a plan. Now, they have what's called Beyond Essential and Beyond Premium. And you'll notice that the premium is for individual business use. This means then that you will not need to have the Beyond logo on your videos if you choose the premium level, as well as being able to download in full HD at 1080 pixels. Now, if you want to work on your videos in a team, you can work with Beyond Professional. Since you're likely to opt not to have the Beyond logo in all your videos, we are going to start the free trial by choosing the Beyond Premium plan. Now, you'll need to go through the process of creating an account before you set up your payment. Now, once you set up your login credentials, you then want to go and activate your account. Now, it's important that you activate your account before you go through the payment process. Now, this is not a free trial where you're going to put in your credit card information. If you put in your credit card information, you will actually be charged. So you want to go through this step to activate your account before you put in any payment information to set up your Beyond account. Once you click the link inside the email, your Beyond account will then be set up and ready for you to use. Welcome back. Now, when you first start the video creation process, you're going to come into your dashboard and you want to click this button that says make a video. And when you get to this point, you're going to be able to choose the kind of video that you want to create contemporary video, one that is business friendly, and then one that uses the drawing application or whiteboard animation. And Vion makes some suggestions about which one is best for the different purposes that you may have. For example, if we choose the business friendly style, that's going to open up the studio and you'll then choose get started. And when you get to a scene or it opens up, you're going to notice that you have elements that you can add to each scene that you start to create. You can add characters to your scene. You can add props to your scene. You can add charts to your scene. You can add text to your scene. And then you can also add in audio or music to your scene. You can also upload content or images to your scene if you feel it is appropriate. For example, perhaps you may want to add in a logo to your video. If you want to add in a webcam video, you can add in the webcam by clicking this button that says camera. You'll notice that on the timeline you have one scene or template available. You also have other templates available to you by clicking this button that says add template. And you'll see the templates here. Now these are the resources that Beyond gives you in order to create your video. And we will go in depth into each one of these elements to help you to create the video that you want. What you'll want to do is you'll want to start by giving your scene or your movie a title before you get started editing. Once you've given your video a name, 
you can then begin to add some of the resources that you want to customize a video in the way that you want it to appear. Welcome back. Now when Vian opens up, you'll notice that it'll open up with a scene and that scene will be on a timeline. If you want to adjust the appearance of that timeline, you can do that. You can slide up the timeline so that it appears larger as you put more tracks here or if you want to shrink it, you can do that by pulling it back down. This will give you more spacing on your actual working element. What you'll notice about the scene is that it has a drop down menu. You'll notice then that what we can do here is we can add on a template to this scene or we can even add a blank scene here. Once we are working on top of the scene, you'll notice that there are elements that you can change. We can place our cursor on all of the elements that are customizable inside of the element. And so we have full control over our customization. You'll notice then that the music can come in on the timeline. So for example, if we decide that we want to add in some music, all we need to do is to add the music to our timeline. And you'll see it being added here on the timeline. And you'll notice then that this timeline says that the music is three minutes and 58 seconds long. That's obviously a lot longer than your clip. And so if we come to a certain point, we can right click on that point. We can click split. You'll notice that the track will split. We can click on top of that track and we can then delete the other part of the track from our timeline. If you want to stretch the timeline so you can work with it closer, you can click this plus button. You'll notice that the timing doesn't change, but the appearance of the timeline does, and you can see more of what you're doing. If you want to shrink the timeline, you can do that here in this area. What you can do with any of the work that you've done, you can always click this preview button. You'll get a chance to see your video as it will look once you've put it all together. And you can see how the preview works here. In order to come back out of the preview mode, you can then click exit. Welcome back. Now what you'll notice is that the scene on the timeline has a certain length of time. We can lengthen that time if we want, or we can shorten that time. Now what we can do to vary what we're going to see next is we can go to this button. It says add in a template. And we have a number of choices here of templates that we can add in to the timeline. And one thing that you can do in order to search for the kind of template that you want is you can write in to the search bar. And you'll notice when we write the search word in, you can click this button and then we'll have certain templates to come available to us. We can either go to the template, we can click on it, and the template will be added automatically to our timeline. If for some reason we don't like the template, we can right click it, we can then cut it from the timeline. What we can also do from the drop down menu, we can add the template from here. We can also continue what we say as the last scene. And basically what this does is this adds in the same template to that part of the timeline. All we're going to do here is we can cut that out and go back here. We can add in a blank scene. You'll notice all we really have here is a blank background. Of course, once you have the background, you can change that background. You can change the base color. Or what you can do is you can add in a new image or template. You can also add in a video content to the background according to anything that you had in your quick access. If we want to remove the background, we can then click remove. And then we can remove the scene from the timeline. So if we find a scene that we like and that we want to add to our content, we can then add it in. It'll then be available for us to start editing the content. Of course, as we're adding in templates, we can also then click save to make sure that we keep track of everything that we are doing. Once we do that, what we can do is we can then preview the video using our preview button. 
Of course, once we have everything on the timeline the way we want, and once we've saved our work, we can then click the preview button. We can then see what our content is going to look like as we are doing it with the scenes that we have added. Now, in order to add or take characters out of your scene, you're going to use your character library. So, for example, if we click on top of any of the characters, this is going to be a certain character whom we can have in, or we can actually switch this character out. So, for example, we can take this character out by clicking the delete button. You'll notice that character is no longer there. What we would do then is we can then add in a character from our character library. And these character libraries are going to be categorized in different sections. So we can add in another office person and we can have that office person look the way we want them to look based on the viewers of our video. You'll see that person here. Now, if you want to have that person doing different things, you're going to need to change the properties of that character, which we will be studying in another video. We can size up the character by clicking on the handles. And we can drag and drop the character any place where we want them to be. Now we can use swap mode to add in another character. So for example, if we click on top of the character as we have them, what we can do is we can click this area, we can click swap, then we can swap in someone for that individual. They're then going to be in the same position. And we can do that for any of the characters that we have here. So for example, if we were to click on this character, we would put them in swap mode. We can swap them out for another individual. And you'll see that character come in They'll be different, but they'll be in the same position as the character was. So you can use your character library to add in individuals to a particular scene or template. You can also swap them in so that they're going to be in the same position as the individuals inside of the template. Now you'll notice here that you have characters from the three kinds of sections that you have in Beyond. Business friendly, whiteboard animation, as well as contemporary characters. And even though we have an animated figure here, you notice that there's no drawing action. All of those things are going to be controlled by the properties when we start to work with them in the next video. Okay, so with that, thanks and I'll see you in the next video.